I was able to predict exactly what would happen with the Tesla stock in my previous videos, and now I have more information to share with you today. First of all, the weekly time frame still looks very bearish with that engulfing pattern right off the descending resistance. That is a line that bulls have been struggling with for two years. So make sure you plot that on your charts and keep that in mind as you decide which direction to trade in. In the four hour time frame, we have an even clearer picture of what is going on. Ever since price completed that bearish ascending triangle pattern, we have not been seeing any impressive actions from the bulls and today is no exception, in my opinion. Look how the price is slowly descending. For bulls to regain control, we need to start seeing higher highs and higher lows from them to prove to us that they have actually shifted the momentum. But that would only be step one. Their next obstacle would be that major descending trend line on the weekly time frame. And if they can break above that, that would be a super huge deal. But that will probably not happen anytime soon. But when it does, it is at that point where I will consider looking for bullish opportunities on Tesla. Another important factor to take note of is the 20 moving average length from the daily time frame. You can see that price has used it as support right here. And that is significant because it tells us that once the price closed below the moving average right here, the bulls completely lost their momentum and bears gained the upper hand. Now, every time price manages to even poke its head above that moving average, it just gets pulled right back down. So it's safe to say that the moving average is acting as a sort of resistance magnet. So here is the list of the bearish factors that bulls are facing purely from a technical analysis standpoint. The 20 daily moving average, the current descending movement on the four hour time frame, and that major descending trend line from the weekly time frame. All three of these are important keys that bulls must accept if they wish to understand when and where the odds will tilt in their favor. Now, while bears are currently in control overall, you could look for some quick shorting opportunities since they are more likely to play out in your favor until we see a shift in momentum. For example, today we see that price went up to its current descending trend line in the four hour time frame and got rejected by it. The way you could have taken advantage of this is by scaling down to the 15 minute time frame and entering a short position as soon as bulls show weakness. So on this 15 minute time frame, this would have been our entry because not only did it come after the rejection, but bulls attempted to regain their strength and failed. This candle confirmed that. And that is why it started tanking from here today because of all the bearish factors the Tesla stock is facing. Guys, if you enjoy these videos, please make sure to hit that like, comment, and smash that subscribe button so that you can be informed whenever I release another video. I will appreciate all your comments. I want to hear what you think. Now, I will give some points to the bulls. The fact that this is not completely tanking yet is actually a good sign that bulls are managing to fight back to potentially form a support area. From a different analysis, that is actually counter to mine. The 50 day moving average from the daily time frame could act as a support. But personally, I like to see that price has used a moving average as support in the recent past rather than trying to catch the first time it uses it. For all we know, the price can blow right past that moving average and start tanking until it reaches 240. The reason I say 240 is because that is where a decent bounce point happened and that alone creates a potential support area. If and when the price reaches that price level, we will need to pay very close attention to how the candles are behaving. So until we actually get out of this descending channel, Tesla is currently in on the four hour time frame. my analysis will remain the same. And I believe bulls should be very careful moving forward 
until we overcome those bearish factors that I talked about in this video. That's pretty much all I have to say about the Tesla stock today. Thank you for watching, guys. If you ever want to join a community of traders, I have a Discord server in the description below. We got some nice free resources in there that you can take advantage of. I will see you all in the next video.